what is good people welcome back to odd talks and gaming today people today i have a very interesting uh do i want to show you so first things first is i want to bring up my opponent uh this is calvin if you guys don't know who calvin dehan is i highly recommend you guys all look into him he's a uh renowned uh duelist in our community uh when he came up on dueling book next to his name was expert so i had some sort of idea that i was dueling somebody that uh, i should probably know and turns out i didn't know who it was so that was pretty exciting um, but uh, he's brand new to the game, and we need pro players coming to the game, in my opinion, for this game to continue to move forward. So, uh, Calvin DeHaan, uh, if you're watching this, I thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming to the channel. And uh, if you ever need any help or anything and you see that I'm online, free, feel free to ask. If not, completely okay as well. Uh, I also want to bring, out to the bring up to the audience watching at home um, that Calvin... I, this is either his first duel we played in Speed Duels or one of his first, but he doesn't have a side deck when we played this game. So I want to bring that up to everybody before I even get into this uh, game. But without further ado, let's just jump into this. Um, I'm not going to lie, I can't remember who won the Rock, Paper, Scissors. Uh, looks like he did. Oh no, it looks like I did. He's going to set Crystal Seer. This is the biggest tech he's playing in his deck that I thought was really neat. So Crystal Seer, if you don't know, is when it's flipped, you get to escalate the top two cards of your deck and then add one of them to your hand and then place the other to the bottom of the deck. It's like a draw one. It's really neat. So it's just kind of like uh, you replace the card you used in the end. So I'm going to set two Book of Moons and then set uh, the Hyper Hammerhead face down. If you guys don't know, I'm playing Earth Moth and he's playing a Inner Conflict build. Um, which was really cool. He's played a lot of like interesting tribute summon monsters in his deck that I thought were like super cool. He's going to flip the seer here. This is going to let him uh, look, look at the top two cards, choose one to add to hand, and then put the other to the bottom of the deck. He's then going to activate a lure, allowing him to draw two more cards, and then banish one, being another apprentice magician. At this point, he's going to activate the allure again, drawing two more, and then banish old vindictive. He sets one card face down, being the Apprentice Magician, sets a book, sets a book, and sets a Zoma. We draw for turn, we summon the Giant Rat, and we flip our Hyper Hammerhead. We move to our Battle Phase to try to uh, attack the Crystal Seer. On Seer, he's going to Book of Moon, flipping it back face down. This is going to cause Seer to flip up, and then bat or excavate two. And then he gets to add one to hand, adding Blowback Dragon to hand. This is what I meant by, like, he add, he's playing, like, really cool tribute summon monsters. Blowback and Gap right now in the current meta are really not seen that much, but both of these cards are actually very powerful. So I'm happy he opted to use those. I'm then going to attack it to the face down card, being the old Vindictive Magician, and he's going to pop the Giant Rat. I'm going to hit the end phase, and then he's going to go for turn. At this point, he's going to set the zone as a spirit, and then pass his turn off to me. At this point, I have the Parasite, so I'm going to banish the Giant Rat, summon the Rock Spirit, and then I'm going to summon the Breaker to try to bait the other uh, Book of Moon, which was there. So he's going to flip our Breaker face down, we're going to move to our Battle Phase, and then I'm going to attack him with my Rock Spirit, and then my Hyper Hammerhead. And I'll pass my turn off to him. And draws into the Book of Moon. At this point, he has to steal to use his skill, so he's going to... Steal the Rock Spirit. I'm not exactly sure if that was the correct play because I still have my Hammerhead at 4k life. But hey, it works. Summons the Gap, and this is going to switch my Breaker to attack mode. And then sets one card face down. Enters into battle and attacks into my Breaker. I will take 600 life points here, and he will summon the Zoma. And then uh, he's going to... Uh, or I'm going to Book of Moon to Zoma back face down. I'm going to Zoma again. And again, I'm going to just Book of Moon to Zoma face down. Uh, I'm going to then equip my Parasite Paranoid to his gap since he's now used his skill. He's going to book his gap. And then I'm going to Cocoon the Parasite Paranoid back to the deck. And then draw a card which is, in this turn, the Moth. Set one card face down, and I'll attack it through the face down card, being the Gap. At this point, I'll take the 500 life points and bounce his Gap to the Divine Soldier to hand. He summons two of the Zone of the Spirit to the field, and then he, I believe he, 
Yeah, he trippies one off with a blowback dragon, which was really powerful. Uh, he flips his coins and has way more luck than me and gets his uh, gets his heads on the first two flips, killing off my hyper hammerhead. Now, whenever I use blowback dragon, I'm not complaining or anything. Um, I'll flip the first one and get a heads, and then I have to rely on the last two <laughs> coins to get or uh, get a tails, and then I have to rely on the last two coins to get my heads. It happens every time. So at this point, I'll take uh, the full amount of damage because I have nothing to stop him. Because if I, the reason why I did this here is because I have offerings set. But if I activate offerings, I'm still going to lose because I can't draw my next turn and I have a brick in my hand. So at this point, I sided in because it wasn't until later on in the match where he was like, "Hey, I don't have a side deck." So I was like, "All right." If I would have known sooner, I would have definitely taken out my side. Or not have sided. Just so we could have uh, had a fun time. He said Seer. After I say it, Seer is such a cool card, by the way. Uh, I set two cards face down, summon the Hammerhead, and then attack into the Seer, allowing it to banish the two to add one to hand. And put the other to the bottom. He summons the breaker, which I'm going, which is going to bait out my Book of Moon to set it. Uses the Allure of Darkness to draw two, and then banishes one. He sets the zone and sets the book, and then passes the turn off to me. I use breaker here. He's going to uh, book my breaker, and then I'm going to uh, hyper hammerhead the breaker that I set last turn, to which he's going to zone it to defense mode. He draws into the Allure and then activates it, drawing two, banishing the Apprentice Magician, and then he's going to set the Old Vindictive Magician, and then attack into my face down card, being Breaker of the Magical Warrior. I draw for a turn, drawing the Cross Out Designator. I use Cross Out, targeting the Old Vindictive Magician. He has no more targets in deck, and only one in hand. I summon, or I use the Parasite Paranoid, and then I cocoon it off. Summoning the Perfectly Ultimate Great Moss from my deck. I then use Cocoon again, shuffling the Parasite back into the deck, and then draw a card, being another Parasite, which is really cool. I summon Breaker the Magical Warrior, and yeah, we'll call that a game. Moving on to game three. Our opponents often make us go first again. I'm going to set the giant rat and then set one card face down, which would be the Book of Moon. Our opponent goes ahead and summons the Breaker, which we Book of Moon, the Breaker. That's happened to every single Breaker we've seen so far in this game, except for the one I summoned my last turn, or last turn of the last game. And he's going to allure and draw two, and then banish the Blowback Dragon, which is understandable. Sets the Zoma, and then sets the Book. For our inevitable bre breaker that we draw for turn. <laughs> Do the breaker. Get booked. Oh man. The book bait. Flip the giant rat and then battle phase into the breaker we set last turn. We hit the end phase and then the opponent draws for his turn. He moves to his main phase one. And then sets the seer. And passes uh, the turn off to us. We use nobleman hitting the crystal seer. And then, uh, yeah, this is where he mentions uh, that he didn't have a side deck and is very new to the format. So keep that in mind. He's doing extremely well for somebody who hasn't really played too much of this format. And uh, he has some really neat text. Like, again, I admire the fact he's playing these two, uh, Gap and uh, Blowback Dragon as his tribute monsters, using Crystal Sears. And then, you know, he's playing the best, like the best cards in the game, like Breaker, Book, and Allure, Apprentice Magician. Like, his deck is very good. Zoma is in his deck, like... He did very well on his deck building spot. I summon Hyper Hammerhead. He summons some of the spirit to the field, and which I attack and take the 1600, and then I attack for 15, and then I attack for 14. I am, I turn off to him, and he draws for turn. Sets the zone of the spirit, summons the breaker. Breaker is now the strongest monster in the field at 1,900 attack points. Attacks into the breaker. 
and then I summon my own breaker, <laughs> to which he quits the duel. Now, um, what was going to happen here is I was going to use breaker's effect, uh, popping the Zoma, and then what I was going to do after that is I was actually going to attack his breaker with my hyper hammerhead, uh, bounce his breaker to hand, attack with giant rat for game. So, uh, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, Calvin, you did very well. Uh, welcome to speed duels uh, in the description here I'm actually going to leave the discord if you're, you're not a part of it or anybody watching this isn't a part of it it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy and um, speed duels league so uh, yeah if you're interested in either of those go ahead and uh, check those out um, yeah but good job man and uh, to the rest of you uh, I hope you all have a good day stay awesome I'll see you next time bye bye